some students. In this video, we will try to work with the practical number 4A. The 4A stands for developing a simple JSP application to display values obtained from the use of intrinsic objects of various types. <coughs> intrinsic objects means uh, implicit object. Now, JSP, you know that in servlet, we need to declare an object called as HTTP servlet requires. HTTP servlet response, but in JSP, these objects are implicitly available to you. So, we just need to go for uh, retrieving the values. For example, in our uh, practical we had seen, we are creating the HTTP session object also. But over here, you will get an implicit object named as session, implicit object named as out, implicit object named as response, implicit object named as request. So, all the objects are what? Implicitly available to you. Don't require to declare it. They are already declared. We have to go for using it. So, we need to go for uh, demonstrating the use of these kind of implicit object in JS. So, let's try to work with this program. So, I am going to file, selecting new project, trying to go for creating a web application. Given the name of this application as practical 4A. And I need to test the implicit objects of JSP. So, for that reason, I am declaring the JSP. So, here I am coming to the web pages and planning to create a new JSP application. Maybe given the name of the JSP as test. So, it means my JSP file will be created as test.jsp. And I need to try out various implicit objects and the values of them also. Now, already I written a small code for the same. What is the code over here? I had planned to go for request object, retrieving the query string, retrieving the context path, retrieving the remote host IP address, response object, getting the character encoding, getting the contain type, getting the local at, session object, getting its ID, creation time, last access time. So I just copy this contain and paste it inside my body. So all these are what your implicit object. Everybody knows that JSP pages are having an extension .jsp. JSP pages consist of HTML as well as JSP code. Which code is the JSP code? The one which is written inside the JSP element is termed as JSP code. What are JSP elements are there? I think everybody knows we have a JSP element. They are called a directive elements, which are like less than percentage at the rate page. Less than percentage at the rate include, sorry, percentage at the rate include, less than percentage at the rate tag lib. These are what you are directive element. So, any code written inside this kind of directive element is termed as your JSP code. JSP elements are categorized as your directive element. JSP elements are categorized as a scripting element. And scripting element also are having three. This is called as scriptless. We have declaration less than percent exclamation mark. This is termed as declaration. And this one is termed as your expression. So we have a directive element. We have scripting element. As well as we are having the JSP action tags. JSTL, which we are going to learn also. The JSP action tags normally start with JSP colon. The JSP colon include JSP colon forward and so on. So, the, any code written inside directive or a scripting or action tag is termed as what here JSP code. So, you can see very well what is done by me over here. I had written the expressions. Now, I am just trying to run this particular page. And let's see what is the outcome which has been displayed by this page. So we can see request.query string is null. So why it is null? Okay, fine. You want the value should be there, then put question mark x equal to abai. Okay, fine. So you can see query string is what x equal to abai. Query string means the values which are passed after the page, then the question mark, the variables and the values, the response object contain and session object contain. So, this has been expected by you to complete in your practical number 4A. Thanks a lot students. Stay tuned with us. As I told you in my last video also, I am shortly going to provide you all the theory material 
and the MCQs that will help you to score better marks in your exam papers also. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.